Then here's my current white Alto Lampralogus Calvus Fry Tank. I need to be able to move these rocks out easily and quickly, and they just really, they blend into that tank so well. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be finally moving out some white Alto Lampralogus Calvus out of their grow out aquariums and into my brand new five foot aquarium on the top of the rack here. I've been really looking forward to this day, but the time has come to move them out of their grow out tanks and pop them in that tank. I've got a lot to do today, so let's get into this week's video. And here's the aquarium I'm going to put the white Alto Lampralogus Calvus in. It's five foot long by 45 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters high. So they're gonna absolutely love this tank because it's massive. The tank I currently have my largest white Alto Lampralogus Calvus in is two foot wide by two foot long by 14 inches high. Uh, I'm gonna put some rocks in, give them obviously some shelter, and then I'm gonna catch some fish and pop them in here, along with some bristlenose catfish because I want them to be able to keep the algae at bay like they currently are able to do in my Neolamprologus Leilupi Grout Aquarium. And if you haven't watched that awesome video of me stocking that five foot aquarium up with my Leilupi fry, you can watch that video right here. And here's my current white Alto Lampralogus Calvus fry tank. They've been growing out in here for a number of months and these guys are actually two years old here. They're gonna be the first ones to go into this brand new five foot aquarium. And what I'm gonna do is take some of the rocks out of here, pop them in the tank, and that will in turn make it a little bit easier for me to catch these guys out. And then I'll actually catch them out of the aquarium, pop them in the five footer. Then I'll go to the next aquarium where I'm gonna get the next lot of white Alto Lampralogus Calvus Fry out of. And that tank is one foot wide by two foot long by 14 inches high. So it's even smaller than this, half the size of this. And especially for those guys, they're gonna love being in a larger aquarium a five foot aquarium, it's gonna be amazing for them. So I'm really looking forward to doing this and getting it done because I reckon that tank is gonna look fantastic. But then I'll have two empty tanks free for whatever I wanna use them for. guys so that's the aquascape quick aquascape i don't really love it but again this is a grow out aquarium i need to be able to move these rocks out easily and quickly so when i'm selling the fish i'm able to catch them very quick for the customer so that's why when i aquascape these grow out aquariums they don't look that great but it doesn't look too bad i suppose a couple caves there for the calvus so the next step is to actually catch the calvus out and pop them into their brand new aquarium
Okay, so all the oldest calvus fry that I have that are over two years old are now in this five foot aquarium. And I've got to say, they look awesome already. Even though they're still getting used to their surroundings, they've just been placed into this aquarium. They're hiding a little bit underneath the caves, which is, you, would, you would expect that. They've gone through a little bit of an ordeal with me catching them out of their tank that they've been in for a number of months, almost a year. But now they're in a massive aquarium and this should do them great. Now I should point out guys that this aquarium is hooked up to the same aquarium they've just come out of through a sump system. I run a sump system in this fish room with 22 aquariums currently hooked on to the one sump. So all the water parameters are exactly the same. There might be some slight temperature variation, but it'd be minimal. So you can see the water that's coming into this tank is coming directly out of the sump into this aquarium. It flows down into my five foot aquarium where my Nina Lampologus Le Lupi Fry are growing out in. And then it goes back to the sump and into all the other aquariums in the fish room. So that's why all the water parameters are the same. And I was able to easily dump these guys straight in. Now, I've got to catch another tank load of White Tower Lampralogus Calvus Fry. These guys are a little bit smaller. Some of the larger ones are about the size of the smallest ones you see in this group. So they should be fine in here. And guys, here's the White Tower Lampralogus Calvus Fry that I'm going to be catching out next. Uh, they've been in here for a number of months now as well. So I'm going to be moving all the rocks out, move the double-headed sponge filter out and catch them out of this tank. It should be pretty easy because the net I've got for this aquarium is pretty much as wide as this aquarium is. So it should be very easy to do. So guys, that's all the white Alto Lampologus calvus that will be going in this five foot aquarium. I've caught all my largest fry out now and hopefully they'll settle in over the next few hours, sort out their territories and everything will be okay. There's two lots of fry in here, like I said, uh, a smaller batch and a larger batch, but that's okay because they're almost all the same size. So there is a range of sizes within the larger batch. There was some smaller ones and obviously larger ones. And in the second batch I just popped in, there were some larger ones in that batch, obviously that were as large as the smaller ones in the first batch. So a range of sizes in here that should be fine altogether. Calvus are very peaceful cichlids, although if you watch one of my breeding videos from a couple months back, uh, you might think otherwise. But these guys, pre pretty peaceful cichlids, uh, even though they look pretty menacing. And this tank should look even better as they settle into the aquarium over the next few hours and they start coming out into the open. Well, that's the hope anyway. But right now, they, they look, just look amazing even at, at this stage. They match the color of the slate that I've got in here. And they just really, they blend into that tank so well. Uh, I'd love to aquascape it properly, like I say, with my uh, Le Lupi Aquarium. This would look impressive with so many white Alto Lampologus calvus in the tank. Anyway, guys, there you go. So there you have it, guys, stocking the five foot aquarium up with white Alto Lampologus calvus. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.